Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this look back at Elite Series 3 and Elite Series 4 now. We have already done a video on Elite Series 1 and Elite Series 2 so check the description below uh, so that you don't miss out on that and uh, um, it was quite interesting actually to look at those very first Elite figures um, because we never had a John Cena which personally really surprised me um, but in this video we're going to have a look at Elite Series 3 and Elite Series 4 and will John Cena finally join the party so let's jump over to Elite Series 3 so on Elite Series 3 we've got John Cena <laughs> Champ is finally here uh, we got Santina Morella uh, you can forget Uni Brow how about Uni Wow look at that figure uh, we got Cody Rhodes uh, in this as well with his legacy attire. And if you saw the last video, you will have seen that I was saying that the Ted DiBiase figure will make a lot of sense when we get to Elite Series 3. This is the reason why, because basically you're getting a tag team there, um, both of them with the same tops. You've got Shawn Michaels. Um, and you've got The Miz, The Miz apparently doing a Shawn Michaels impression uh, and you've got Christian who appears to be wearing Big Show's tracksuit which is quite interesting uh, so we might as well start with Christian um, these figures it's worth mentioning came out in March uh, 2010 uh, boxed you can get this Christian figure for $44.50 and wow that is a lot of fabric a great face scan though, uh, but just that outfit is so distracting. Um, and this is my big issue with fabric items. They can sometimes be too big and we're going to see that as we work our way through the Elite series. This unfortunately is a recurring theme. Uh, the ring attire is fine, as is the body type. Uh, for me, it's just all about that I have to say a poor accessory. I think the idea was good, I just think the execution was poor. Next we've got The Miz um, and you can get this figure for $99.99 boxed. That is quite steep. Um, uh, this looks like The Miz when he was teaming with John Morrison because uh, he was wearing hats during that time. Uh, not keen on this look. Um, just doesn't work with The Miz now. I mean, unfortunately, I think it's fair to say that if you was to look at this figure and not be told who it was, some of you might struggle to be able to name who this is. Um, because unless you're a fan uh, of The Miz and you've kind of followed his career, I'm not sure that you would associate him with this look. And I don't think that the face scan is, is strong enough, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm not a fan of the shirt. All the ring attire, there's way better Miz figures than this. This is just not one for me. I'll not be spending $99.99 on a boxed version of this, I can tell you. Uh, next up, we got Shawn Michaels, who's doing quite a good impression of the Miz, actually, here. Um, unboxed, you can get this for $44.96. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, he finally joins the Elite line as well. Uh, quite surprising we didn't get him in, like... Elite Series 1, you know, it's Shawn Michaels, it's it's Mr. WrestleMania. Um, but great hat, classy shirt, ring attire is okay. Uh, it's just not very an iconic look for Shawn. Uh, not Mattel's fault, but I do think there are better HBK figures, and I suppose that goes without saying. Of course, there's going to be better HBK figures. Next up, we get John Cena. Uh, boxed, you can get this for $45. This is a great John Cena figure. Uh, I love the trainers. Uh, I think the dog tags are really cool. Comes with the cap. Body type is fine. Ring attire is good. Uh, even like with the belt detail and the wristbands. And my sh the shirt as well. It's one of my favourites of his. Um, kind of plays on the old AWA theme. Uh, which is just, you know, really, really cool. This was one of my favourite John Cena shirts. So uh, that makes this one of my favourite John Cena elites. Next you get Cody Rhodes. Solid entry for Cody. Pretty plain, uh, but as we said, it works really well with the Ted DiBiase figure from Elite Series 2. So if you're a fan of collecting like tag teams, then you could get Legacy here. Um, and i got to be honest, I'd be quite tempted to uh, get those because Legacy were quite an interesting group. 
uh, obviously hanging around Randy Orton. I think the three of them together would make a nice set. Um, and then honestly, this is one of my favourite figures from all of the early Elite series. Uh, this is Santino Morella. Uh, you can get this boxed for $34.99 and I love this figure. It's great ring attire. I think the face scan is really strong. I love the red and yellow shirt. It's got that Ferrari feel. Um, and obviously Santino is Italian, so this makes perfect sense. Um, you can tell from the flag on his singlet. Um, I, I really like this. Um, and, you know, even like the red laces and the knee pads, just the detail everywhere. The only frustrating thing for me is that with a later uh, figure, you actually get the Cobra uh, kind of sock that he used to put over his uh, hand. And that's quite an important accessory for Santino. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, I really would be tempted to get this, but it might be worth just waiting for that. Um, so a great lineup, but sadly a lot of the figures disappoint. The Miz figure, I think, is a bit flat. The Sean figure's not the best. Uh, Christian, you know, can go with Edge from Series 1, but just looks silly in that attire. Cody goes well with uh, Ted DiBiase from Series 2, and I love that Santino figure. Uh, that brings us to Elite Series 4. And in Elite Series 4, we've got John Morrison doing a Hugh Hefner impression. We've got Kofi Kingston doing an MC Hammer impression. Uh, we've got the Blue Show. Whoa! <laughs> Nothing funny about this cane. It is just an absolute masterpiece. Uh, Finley uh, looks like Baron Corbin's dad with that jacket on. Um, and this Chris Jericho is just honestly one of the worst figures from these early elites. Uh, let's start with the big show anyway. So these figures I can tell you came out in June uh, 2010. Unboxed you can get the big show for $24.98. It's a decent figure with a removable singlet. Um, I think the body type is good, the head scan is fine uh, and the accessory you know it's decent. I like the figure but again there are better big shows to come. Uh, Kane Box, you can get this $44.99. It's a cool looking figure, really cool looking figure. It's one of those that you'd, or I would, take out of the box and you could just put it anywhere and it just looks cool. Doesn't even have to stand with other figures, it's just a cool piece to own. Um, it's got the, the black towel and the chains um, and the barbed wire detail on the ring attire is great. I think it's got like different coloured eyes as well. Uh, body type is good, face scan is strong, but it's, it's the accessories that make this. Um, this is a great figure. Next up, wow. <laughs> wow. Honestly, this John Morrison uh, is stunning. I think it's the best I think it is the best figure from the early series. Um, it, it just works. I know that the, the fabric attire can look big and there are some pictures where this looks quite big on him, but you can pose this figure and when you pose it right, it just works. It is absolutely amazing. Um, one of the most visually impressive figures, the glasses, the ring attire. That robe, it's, it just makes this a must-have. I, I don't have this figure myself. I am totally on the lookout for it. Um, so, yeah, really smart. Uh, one that can't uh, quite match those dizzy heights is this Kofi Kingston uh, boxed. It's going to set you back about $40. Oh, it's worth mentioning that John Morrison unboxed $70, boxed $100. And $40 for that John Morrison. Uh, but Kofi, uh, boxed $40. This is pre-New Day, obviously. And he was doing the fake Jamaican accent. The fabric trousers look okay, but again, they're just too big. It's the same problem as the Christian figure from Elite Series 3, only this isn't as bad because obviously it's it's not the whole bodysuit, it's just the trousers. Um, but yeah, I, I think that the uh, the body type is good, the face scan is okay, I think the figure itself is fine, it's just that the, tr the trousers, as stupid as that sounds, uh, I find quite distracting. Uh, 
Uh, Finley, I couldn't find any of these for sale, so I can't even tell you how much this is worth. Um, it's a good figure with plenty of accessories. The jacket is great. Uh, so is the shillelagh, which I believe it's called, uh, or stick. Uh, <laughs> purple ring boots uh, really stand out against the familiar green ring attire. The face scan with gritted teeth. He's got a focused look about him. Obviously, we spoke about the like shoulder pad accessory as well, and I just really like this. Um, I think, you know, everyone should have a Finley figure. And then finally, one of the worst figures, this Chris Jericho. I mean, I believe you can get it in purple or in blue. They did uh, variations of it, but it's just very plain. Um, I don't believe it comes with any accessories. Um, the articulation is really what only makes it an elite. Uh, the ring attire, I think, is pretty uninspiring. Uh, the facial expression and head scans are good. The kick pads actually are the best bit of this figure, but for me, this is this is one to miss, and actually that's reflected in the value of it. You can get an unboxed purple one for about $25. You can get a blue unboxed one for roughly the same price. It was an interesting series, Elite Series 4, with a few strong additions. That Kane figure was excellent, and Finley I thought was very good. Really not keen on that Chris Jericho, but maybe this series included the best figure of all of the early series. And as we said, that was the wonderful John Morrison. Um, really, really smart. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna definitely have a look at Elite Series 5 and 6 soon. Uh, so don't miss out on that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.